everybody, welcome back to Moving Matt. We do vlogs, travel, and some camera stuff. And today is Camera Wars. The show where we give you the latest camera news and let you know just how the battle is heating up. First up, Adobe has announced a new Photoshop and Premiere Elements, and this time it's powered by AI. You know, because that's never went wrong before. It is touting features such as one-click subject selection, adjusting facial features, and easy background replacement. So basically, it's Photoshop Luminar. If this tech keeps developing at this pace, I can retire into poverty in no time. But at least I can change the background of my picture so my friends can think I made it. Speaking of making it, if you want to help me make it, be sure to like and subscribe. This next door you can fall into the what the hell are they smoking category. Pre-orders for the Zeiss ZX1 are now available. This smartphone-like camera will allow you to take a 37 megapixel stills at three frames per second, shoot video at 4K 30, have a 512 gigabyte SSD internal, and it will allow you to edit your photos and share it directly from your phone. I mean camera, but you wanna know the best part about this camera? It's $6,000. There's no joke here. It's seriously, it's $6,000. The price is the punchline. Speaking of punchlines, Nikon no longer wants to be one because Nikon is back. back again. According to Nikon rumors, the Nikon Z9 is coming and it's pretty stacked. It's said to have the body of the D6, the imaging of R5, and the autofocus of the A92. It will have a 46 megapixel sensor, shoot 20 frames per second, 8K 30, 4K 120, have all these different pro features, and it will basically be an R5 that doesn't overheat. Or at least it better not, as it would be priced between $6,000 and $7,000. The Z9 should be coming out fall 2021, but say they will have some prototypes for the Summer Olympics. It looks like Nikon is back in the war. But speaking of war, according to Canon Watch, Canon may have just developed a new 21 megapixel sensor for their new up and coming flagship, the R1. Or at least that's the tentative name. It's a 21 megapixel full frame sensor with a global shutter, 120 decibels of dynamic range. Wait, decibels? No, that doesn't make sense. So apparently 121 dB of dynamic range translates to 20 stops of dynamic range. If this sounds ridiculous, it's because it is, but you know, we can all dream, right? It also does 120 frames per second, but of what? No one seems to know. All of this is speculation, of course, but I will have you covered as the story progresses. But until next time, that is the current state of the camera wars. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.